So is it platinum proof? Ready to find out? Let's find out. What's up everyone? Welcome back to Team Kelo What? If you're new to our channel, please don't forget that you can join our community by hitting the subscribe button right there. Right and there. don't forget to hit the notification bell while you're at it so you don't miss any of these videos. That's right. So here we have the George Foreman Smokeless Grill. For those uh, grilling aficionados like myself, this is an amazing product, or we think it is, because it is claimed that there's not gonna be any smoke, so it's a perfect condition, because we're inside, right? Yes, so if you're craving those delicious juices from the grill outside, we're gonna put this product to the test. According to what they say, this is a large party size. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. <laughs> So it has 172 square inches of grilling oh, capacity. I have no idea what that means. All I know is, is it gonna be enough for my burgers? And I think it probably should be for one because the other nine are for me. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> this device offers variable temperature control so that you don't overheat your, your product, your meat, your chickens, your turkeys, whatever you're gonna do in this. So this is supposed to be non-stick, so it has the George Foreman well-known grilling techniques. It's and an advanced. It's an advanced. George Foreman coating technique, so it's not supposed to stick. So we're gonna put a couple of items to the test right here. So today we're gonna be grilling some of the usual favorites, which is I love, love, love bacon. Yeah, and actually I'm, I'm a fanatic of hot dogs. So let's see if George Foreman is gonna burn my hot dogs or not today. Now, the reason why we are using bacon for this particular test is because we know that anywhere there is fat, it's gonna generate smoke. So we really wanted to put this to the test. We are going to do a... Oh, because I'm hot, There's so smoke. smoking. There's small smoke, smoke around this fat right here. <laughs> Dude. In addition to it, it is dishwasher safe, but you know, I don't like to put anything in my dishwasher unless it's for storage. Exactly. The Dominican in him doesn't do what he's supposed to do. And if you have a small space, this actually um, can be stored away vertically for, for storage space as well. So, so let's open it up. Okay. Nothing here. I like packaging because it kind of keeps it safe, kind of keeps it protected. So um, here is the the grill surface, the grilling surface, the pan. Um, as you can see, the grilling at the bottom it basically heats up all of this, basically, and then the heat is transmitted to the top. All right, looks like a radiator. It does look like a car radiator. Oh. All right. Oh, okay. okay. This so, is the <laughs> this is the, the plug. That's the va the valve control. That's yeah. what controls the temperature um, from the device. So they only have medium, low, and high. Yeah, you know, I don't know about that. You know, sometimes I like to people who are grillers. They know they like to know about the temperature that they're gonna be cooking. So I'm a little disappointed that this doesn't have a yeah. temperature. Meter. Yeah, like it should have maybe like 100 degrees, 200, 350. Yeah, something like that. that. Here we have our drip pan. So this is where all the fat and grease should be going. You remember the original George Foreman grill? It also had that, that drip pan. Yeah. That was like one of the most important things on that actual pan, uh, that, that device as well. Because if you didn't have that, that grease uh, covering thing, you would be greasing all over the place. So. This is okay. really important. Yes. So basically, it's just these four items. This is so, so the way you put it together. First, we're going to put the grease pan on. Then we will put this device. You have to make sure you put the um, the temperature control on the opening side, on this side. And we normally don't have trouble putting stuff together. Um, so this goes to critique their products. Okay, okay, so maybe, so maybe it's, it's the up. other way around. Okay. Because this guy looks like it has a lock here yeah. that will lock into this. 
So you gotta make sure you know which side you're gonna put it on. There is a locking mechanism that will, a little hinge that will fall in place here. So you have to know, it looks like, yeah, yeah. it looks like a simple lock. Looks like a lock, lock in. All right. Yeah. So, so let's go. Let's this hear way. it. Yep. You should be able to hear it. Okay. It. There was a slight little snap in. Yeah. All right. And this is it. And then finally, finally, we'll plug in the temperature control gauge. And that is it. Voila! Our smokeless grill is ready. Um, I think this is pretty big and it should be good enough for a family. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, six burgers at a time. About six burgers. I'm talking about those big frozen ones. So this should fit about six burgers. But if you're Dominican like we are, how many platanos can it fit? <laughs> Let's okay. find out. So we can fit one platano, two platanos, three, three platanos. Let's so we, that. Yeah, we can probably oh, fit five. about... Oh, like five platanos. We can put about five platanos. So is it platano approved? Platano approved. All right, so we're gonna plug it in, set the temperature, and then we're gonna grill. Let's grill see how much smoke we generate from this guy. Okay, so it's been about three minutes on mid, mid to mid high temperature and it's pretty hot for now, right? It's getting, it's getting hotter. Now, the one thing I want to say is, this product says that it's 80% smokeless. Why would it make it smokeless? Well, one of the reasons why an item like this is smokeless is because normally when fat hits the grill inside, whether it's charcoal or whether you have a gas grill, when the fat hits the flame, it sets up that smoke. So the reason why you have the drip pan underneath is because as you're grilling, the fat is gonna fall in. There's nothing down there that is engulfed in flame. So basically, this is why it will make it smokeless. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes when so you're saying that it'll drip on the actual um, heating part, on the heat yes. core, yes. and then you'll get some smoke. Yes. But more, normally you won't. No. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button so you don't miss any of these videos. We really want to thank you all. Leave us a comment, any questions you may have. Team Kello, what? So the big frozen ones, I think we can fit about six burgers there. Ese va cuando yo estoy hablando. I'm on sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry.